One of the things that we've been seeing quite a bit of this year has been shade trees that just have some black spots on them or the leaves are coming out rather deformed. What we are seeing is shade tree anthracnose. So anthracnose is a very common fungal disease that infects most of our shade trees, whether it is a maple, an oak, sycamore, ash, walnut, hickory, and I could go on, but pretty much all of our shade trees are infected by a type of anthracnose. Now, one of the nice things about, um, about the anthracnose fungus is that it tends to be host specific. And so the, the type of anthracnose that infects your maple tree will not infect the ash tree nearby. Now, this disease tends to be favored by cooler wet temperatures and so when we have a long protracted wet spring as we've had this year we tend to see a lot more issues with anthracnose and so when we have those temperatures in the 50 to 60 degree range with adequate moisture that fungus is very active in fact the fungus can even infect while the leaves are still inside of the bud when that happens we do tend to see some issues that occur on the veins. And as the leaf veins are one of the first thing to mature inside of the leaf, that's where the fungus can attack. So one of the symptoms that we may see with shade tree anthracnose is just some discoloration along the veins. And it may be especially evident if we look on the back side of the, of the leaves as well. Now additionally, we may see some larger black splotches that um, that, also in, that also occur, especially if the, if the leaves are infected very early. Now, depending on how the season is going, we may, have, we, we may have severe anthracnose infection early in the season, but certain trees will put out a second flush of leaves and really kind of cover up any of those leaves that may have, may have already died and dropped or, or have become so, so unsightly that you don't want them there. Now, unfortunately, anthracnose is one of those things that we really just need to learn to live with. It's not something that we see every year, so it really is highly dependent on, on our environmental conditions. And we really don't recommend doing any sort of fungicide control, especially for a, a tree in the landscape. Now, if we have a young tree that we are just trying to establish and it's, we have had severe anthracnose infection, for two or three years and we've seen at least 50% leaf drop, then we would maybe want to start thinking about a, a fungicide application. But in general, for established trees, chemical control is not necessary. Now, the, the, some of the controls that we can do, um, one is sanitation. So making sure that we are raking up and destroying any of those leaves that have dropped. The other thing that we can do that really helps um, control anthracnose is to prune out some of those heavily infected branches. The anthracnose fungus can survive as a canker on the branches, and so pruning out those branches and twigs that are severely infected will tend to cut down on disease incidents next year.